today we talk about the topic enrichment. What is enrichment? Anything what um, helps our dogs to use their senses. Um, this could be by sniffing, chewing, watching things, problem solve. Um, they are all could be enriching activities. So I'll give you some examples today. Um, you could go and uh, use random um, objects in your home environment and just uh, drag them out into your backyard while your dog is inside, for instance. And then you send the dog out and just sit back and let them observe how they are um, engaging with those objects you have put out for them. So use a simple tin. Um, which is not sharp, put your food in it, give it to the dog and let them work it up. We could also um, use uh, some food puzzles or frozen kongs or bones um, to enrich their day-to-day -day life. So they are having some natural outlets of using their senses and not so bored. So therefore we are going to see less destructive behaviors. Feeding your dog a bone um, has lots of benefits because the dog can actually clean their teeth. Um, they are occupied for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depends on um, the animal and the bone you provide. Um, so you should go and watch your dog um, to see what bone is appropriate for their size, their life stages, um, but it should be definitely be provided to help them to use their beautiful jaws, to rip things apart and to chew on things. Um, as it is in an enrichment for themselves. To help your dog feel um, enriched and fulfilled, we highly recommend to use um, natural environments to allow them to um, use uh, their bodies and um, their senses in the most natural way. If you like to fulfill your dog's senses, go and slow down. Allow them to go and smell the world around them instead of just marching around. So more mooching instead of marching when you're out and about with your dogs. To use enrichment, the important point is that you observe your animal um, and actually make sure that it is enriching for them and it doesn't frustrate them or maybe sometimes we choose something what is um, too boring for them or um, has no interest. So observe your individual dog and see what they like and dislike. The benefit of enrichment is that you're allowing your dogs to use natural instincts. You allow them to use their senses to their full potential um, and um, providing them with um, opportunities to use their natural behaviors of scavenging, seeking, scenting. In conclusion, if you would like to be a responsible dog caregiver, make sure that you are learning about your dog's individual needs, emotions, body language, and um, prepare for some vet and training bills, as well as provide them with a safe home environment, um, which includes your fence lines, beddings, any sort of walking equipment, and make sure that you spend ample time together with them and introduce them to our human world. Remember, City of Darwin are here to help you and your pets. For more information and free resources, visit darwin.nt.gov.au.